Imagine making a computer program that has to predict if a picture contains a cat or a mouse. You would have to write tons of programming rules like how big is the animal, uh, how fast is the animal, what does the animal eat or whatever programming rules in order to determine uh, if the image contains a, a cat or a mouse. So if I give you another group of two images, let's say a fish and a dolphin, you would have to create programming rules all over again. And it, and, it, and it continues, right? So if I give you a group of two other type, a human and a monkey, you'd have to make the programming rules again and again and again. So a better way to solve this kind of problems, problems is using machine learning. Instead of programmatically defining rule by rule by rule by rule, we use an algorithm that creates rules for us. And it creates these rules based on training data. This type of algorithm is named a classifier. It takes input data that is matched with labels. So we'd have information, let's say for the, the cat and the dog, or the cat and the mouse, we'd have information saying uh, the size, the, the color, and the speed, and as well as the labels. So this data line is a cat, this line is a mouse, and so on. So a classifier, this type of algorithm, always has a few steps. The first one is to collect data. So this is a very basic step. We collect information and this information is labeled. Then we train the classifier. So we train the algorithm with this data. And then we are the final step. We make predictions. So these predictions is, is based on the data. So if we train it with good data, we can make accurate predictions. But if the data is garbage, we get garbage predictions. So it's very important to have good data. Now this type of learning, this type of algorithms is called machine learning and specifically when you use a training phase, when you use data that's labeled, it's called supervised learning. So in this tutorial we'll make a simple program that makes predictions based on data, so using a classifier called the decision tree. Let's make the program. You'll need to have the module SkyKit installed. So that's the module sklearn and Sky, scipy. Then we'll import this module. And as we mentioned, the first step is to have data. So the first thing we'll do is collect data. Um, so let's say the amount of legs, the, the speed and the size. So we'd have that training data and the training data needs to have labels. So whether this is a cat or a dog. So we'd have two arrays like this and then we define our classifier so in this case a decision tree we train our data using the method fit in which we specify as parameters the data and then the final step we arrive is to make predictions so we make a prediction uh, like this and finally it outputs the prediction